in this video I'm going to discuss with you what is the best way to read a book using regular book using an Android tablet or using a Kindle Paperwhite uh, e-ink ebook reader so firstly uh, let's start with the normal regular book uh, so with the normal book you can use uh, three of your senses when you re when you're reading from a normal book or a regular book you are using three of your senses uh, you can visually see the book see its design uh, you can feel the book how heavy it is and also you can smell the book the smells of the pages so what are the advantages of reading uh, from a regular book when you read from a regular book you can uh, visually see you can visually see the book you can see the great design of the covers cover of the book you see each design is different and conveys a message so you can visually see the design and get inspired to read the book and secondly uh, you can uh, just uh, you can see how much you have finished you can visually see how much you have finished so you can see the bookmark is over here if I open this up you can from here you can see how much you have finished uh, you have finished it gives you a sense of uh, satisfaction that uh, you have accomplished something uh, and how much you have left you are almost there suppose I have almost finished this book and I don't have much left so I have uh, I'm it is uh, inspiring it is like uh, motivating me more to like uh, go ahead and finish this book and when a book is when you hold a book you get the idea of the amount of knowledge stored inside this book see when you hold a book and but what are the disadvantages of reading a regular book when you're reading a regular book uh, the disadvantages are that when you're trying to carry multiple books around it is uh, it might get uh, heavy and uh, it is also hard to read uh, when you're laying in bed and when you're laying sideways in bed and it is sometimes it's hard to read the books like this suppose when you're laying in bed you want to read like this okay and which makes it kind of difficult you need to just it's difficult to hold the book when you're laying in bed sideways and read the book and now uh, let's uh, have a look at the tablet over here Android tablet when you have the Android tablet it's got a much bigger screen and you see you can how easily you can read the book over here right it's so easy to read the book this one is a uh, Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 and this is a big 11 inches tablet and it makes reading the book so much easier and you can also read the books in color suppose I just go back and open one of my university books you can see you can just read the books in color you can clearly see the different diagrams picture images graphs etc you can see everything in color and in high detail and then uh, you can just uh, uh, you can read books in different formats you can as this is a uh, like as this is an Android tablet you can use the Google Play Store to download any kind of ebook app and then read books any download books any kind of uh, books from the internet and download any kind of format of books and uh, read using an app so it is very easy uh, but what are the disadvantage of using an Android tablet uh, as an e-reader uh, you get a lot of uh, distractions sometimes it is uh, when you hold an Android tablet suppose this one is an 11 inches Android tablet and Android tablets are kind of heavy uh, suppose you are reading a book suppose uh, usually this happened to me uh, uh, many times when I when I'm reading a book at night uh, I was holding the tablet like this and it fell on my nose and that's not uh, what you want when you are reading a book and another thing is that and it emits when you're reading a white book suppose this one like this or 
let I will just show you this one. Suppose you are reading a book like this. This tablet is emitting light. This tablet is emitting light, and when you re when you re uh, when something emits bright light, suppose see, uh, when I try to read this tablet for a long time, when I keep keep looking at this bright light for a long time, it uh, my eye starts watering and I get a headache. Uh, after ten minutes of reading a book, I uh, start to get a headache. Uh, because I cannot it's difficult to stare at something so bright and uh, if I uh, decrease the brightness then it also become kind of difficult to read also uh, to solve this issue you can simply you can turn on the night mode over here suppose if I want to you can just simply turn on the night mode over here so this will help you a bit to like easily read the books uh, books and uh, and also you can get you get distracted by a lot of things suppose uh, when I, while i'm reading the books i get a lot of notifications from my email and if you have uh, other kind of social media apps installed like facebook uh, uh, twitter etc you will get not you will get notifications from those so it's not a good reading experience uh, you cannot just uh, just uh, focus on reading the book you will just keep getting different kind of distractions so these are the uh, disadvantages of uh, uh, using a tablet to read books and finally let's come to this one this kindle e ink ebook reader kindle kindle paper white uh, firstly when i saw this i had very little hopes for this because the screen size is too like uh, so small that's why i had uh, little hopes for this but i have completely changed my mind right now after using this for two days because uh, it's kind of a completely different thing uh, it does not emit its own light it kind of uses a different kind of technology in display it, which means it's uh, very similar to a, a paper book like this one you have to use the natural light to read the book and i can just uh, read this use this kindle paper white to read books for like around 20 minutes or 30 minutes straight without my eyes watering because it does not emit uh, bright light and it's so easier to read and firstly i was just annoyed with this because the size of the screen is too uh, small uh, but it's for a very good reason you so that you can hold this device with using one one hand only and this is very light and if this falls on your nose or face uh, it don't hurt a lot like the android tablet over here and uh, what are the disadvantages disadvantages i think is the size even though like they just said that i just said that it is easier to hold but sometimes it's just a bit too small i think you see this is a real book over here see compared to a page i think it's a bit small but you can hold it very close to your face because uh, and read without any issues because it does not it's not uh, like you're staring at a bright screen you can just simply st uh, hold it inches from your face and keep reading with no issues at all and uh, for for me the issue i am having uh, the major disadvantage i am having is that that in my country uh, the kindle the kindle store is not available i'll show you to you right now so uh, in my country the kindle ebook store is not available you can see currently unavailable so i cannot uh, buy any books from the kindle store that's why i just uh, download uh, ebooks from the internet like in pdf format and read them uh there sometimes uh, the pdfs are not so optimized properly for the this kindle e-reader i'll show you an example some some of the text are a bit too small i'll show you a book see this text is too, a bit too small i'll just this is the normal way um, when I bring it close then you can see uh, it's bigger but it's very small 
and it's difficult to read. Uh, so there are limitations to this certainly limitations to this and uh, you can only use this for reading books uh, and sometimes it is a bit too ex expensive in my opinion the one I'm showing you right now is a refurbished uh, Kindle paperwhite model um, so uh, it cost me very little like around $61 but uh, they, these are the disadvantage from uh, for the Kindle paperwhite but with the Kindle Paperwhite, just as I mentioned, that uh, you can read a book for a very long time without getting a headache or without getting a headache or like eyes watering, etc. So that's why it is very comfortable. But in my opinion, the best way to read and most comfortable way to read a book is just using a regular book because it's so you can just hold the book you can use your three of your senses to read the book when you're reading the book you simply just hold the book you read through the pages there is a there is no comparison between this and the other two devices but for close second I will just uh, consider this Kindle in reader uh, because it is so portable you can just uh, uh, lay on your bed on your like Suppose you are traveling, uh, you can just uh, lay on your hotel bed and just take this out and read any kind of book. Uh, that's, uh, it is very good when you are traveling and that's uh, when you should use it. And for tablet, it is uh, the least comfortable for reading a book because, uh, because of the light it's emit. Uh, but still you for if you're a student uh, going to a university a tablet will help you a lot because you don't have to buy a lot of color books uh, it will save you a lot of money in the long run see you can see all the diagrams for so for university students and reading university textbooks a tab android tablet would be perfect so this was my discussion about uh, like which is the what is the most comfortable way of reading uh, reading a book I hope the, you found this video discussion or uh, video interesting if you did then please make sure to like this video and also please subscribe to my channel uh, thank you